Hi, this is Peter Stanley. Welcome to my channel. Today I want to take a look at the tree can indoor hydroponics growing system. Okay, so uh, tree can sent this to me for review. It's a 12 pod system. It's got two modes for LED, which is like a, uh, as far as the timing, a, a grow and a veg mode. So, I mean, a veg and a bloom mode. So the veg mode, I think it's 18 on, six off. And the flower mode is 12 on, 12 off. Those are the basics. I like the specs on it. It's a 36 watt light, close to a gallon reservoir. And I'm really excited to try it out. So let's go ahead and open this up. All right, let's pop this open. So we got the product setup guide. So that goes together. It uses baskets similar to the air garden. I'm not sure if it's just if they're compatible or not. Uh, it's got a two-part nutrient, it looks like. It's a very compact box. There's the head. I believe I read it has red, white, and blue LEDs. It's like a protective cover. On that, I don't know if it's water rated and for waterproof or not, but it does have, you know, I guess, some splash resistance there. The deck looks. I actually don't have an air garden basket handy compare, but do that. It doesn't look like they're as long as the air garden baskets. Kind of square on top. These are uh, domes. I believe this is a water level indicator, so there should be a little floating uh, plastic thing to go in here. Actually, it looks like it's built in. Yeah, so that's what that is. So this goes just on there. That's pretty handy, actually. That's something the air gardens don't have, is an easy uh, water level indicator. So the bar sponges. Very much like the air garden sponges, but they are shaped to fit these. Power adapter. Okay, so this is dry nutrients in each of these, and you fill them with water, let them dissolve, and I'm sure in the instructions it tells you how much of each to use. So I'll figure that out later. Here's the head extension. Oh, that guy's really not bad. Just gonna snap some. Looks like a pretty tiny pump. It's got filters that block the filter out right here. And this cover goes over that. And it snaps in. So it it looks like it's just circulating, pushing water up. I guess it's kind of bubbling on top and that's aerating it a little bit. Okay, these arrows are helpful. So you can see the arrow on that matches that, so that's the orientation for it. And then the arrow here matches this arrow. This plugs in somewhere. Okay, this is kind of odd too. The power adapter plugs in there, and there's a little thing to kind of run the wire through. Yeah, so let me get this set up and um, get it running. We'll see how it looks. Okay, so I've got my seed started. I'm ready to add the water. I basically have um, some lettuce types. I also have winter crust, arugula, and uh, purple basil. And this holds three liters of water. And the nutrients A and B measure, you add water and dissolve the dry fertilizer that's in here. You get five milliliters of each per liter so I use these little pipettes and one full pipette has about five milliliters so I would do like for three mil three liters I would do three full squirts of A and then three full squirts of B. It looks like A is the primary fertilizer yeah, and B it looks like it's calcium nitrate. It might be better to just do water first until they start to come up and then fertilize, but I'm just going to go ahead and put it all in there. I'm just kind of trying to do everything the way they recommend just to see what kind of results we get using their fertilizer and instructions. But yeah, I'm just going to mix these um, in when I add the water. So let me go ahead and do that. So 
So that, according to the water level indicator, it should be about maxed out. Let's see how that looks. That's about where, where that is. Okay, let me install the light and plug it up and we'll add the nutrients. And let's hit the power button. This is how the water gets agitated. There's a little plug to put back in here. I think it defaults to veg mode. If we switch it to flower, it turns the blue off. So it gives a little bit of a, like a red, it uses the red and white LEDs. The pump defaults to 30 minutes on, 30 minutes off. If I press it again, it should turn it off for 12 hours and then resume to a 30 minutes on, 30 minutes off. Flower mode that it's on now will run the light 12 hours on, 12 hours off. Switching it back to veg mode, that will run 18 hours on, 16 hours off. Okay, so that's the veg mode light. So I'm going to switch it again to flower. You can see it switches to the red. So I'm going to switch it back to veg. So I'm going to leave it on veg and just let it go. I'm going to go ahead and post this as it is. I'm hoping to do a time lapse on these once they get started and show how the plants grow in it. So I'd probably do a follow-up video later showing how well it does. It looks like a pretty cool system. It extends up to about, I measure the from the deck to the very bottom of here where this is fully extended and um, it was about 19 and three quarters of an inch high between the, the bottom of the hood and the deck. And they recommend to have the hood all the way to the lowest height when you're starting out. So that's what I've got it set as. It's been a few days since I set this up and as you can see I'm getting some sprouting. So it looks like that's working fine. I did find out two things since I put this together that I need to mention that one's a positive, one's a negative. The positive is Trican has replacement baskets and sponges and nutrients available on Amazon. I'll put a link in the description. The negative is that it's not pulling the the light's not pulling the power that they advertise. The uh, product page says it's a 36 watt light, but I plugged it up. Right now it's pulling 18, really all over 18 watts, almost 19 watts. And if I turn the pump off, the drops, so that light's actually pulling just under 18 watts. So it's pulling half of what they're advertising. Flower mode drops a little bit and the product Manual said that the, the flower mode would be a lower wattage, but it would increase after it had been on for a while. But it's still, either way, it's, I'm going to turn it back on the veg. It, it's still way under what they advertise. So I, I want to make you aware of that. That puts it more in the, if you're going to compare it to an air garden, that puts it more closer to like the air garden harvest and classic models. But these have full 20 watt hoods and they're a lot, kind of have a smaller footprint over it so you got a more concentrated light over a smaller place. I just want to make you aware of that. You know, I can I'll ask the rep about it and see what they say. But, but yeah, it's it's advertised as a 36 watt, but it's only pulling you know less than half. Turn this back on. So I'll let these go and I'll show you the progress. I'm hoping to still set up a time lapse. If I do I'll include that and I'll show how these do. So um so that's the tree can hydroponic growing system. Thank you tree can for letting me try this and uh, I'll post an update and show how it does. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you like that. Please like, comment, and subscribe.